this Astro Pictionary concept video, we want to go over luminosity classes, otherwise known as L classes. Here we're looking at an HR diagram. In this particular version of the HR diagram, we have spectral class listed on the bottom, and we have absolute magnitude listed on the vertical axis. Still, we have temperature increasing to the left, and you can see that the diagram is colorized in the rainbow of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And that corresponds to the spectral class TLMKGFABO as going from right to left, which is also in the direction of increasing temperature. On the left axis, we have increasing luminosity, or in this case, increasing absolute magnitude going in the vertical direction, going up. But notice that the numbers are negative at the top and positive at the bottom. Absolute magnitude negative numbers are bright objects, and absolute magnitude positive numbers are dim objects. On this HR diagram, we have various different classes of objects. We have number seven, the Roman numeral seven, white dwarfs. We have Roman numeral six, subdwarfs. Roman numeral five, main sequence stars. Roman numeral four are your subgiants. Roman numeral three are your giants. Roman numeral two are your bright giants. Roman numeral one B and Roman numeral one A are your supergiants. And at the very top, we don't have a Roman numeral, we have a number, and that number is zero, and that is your hypergiants. On the HR diagram, if you can find the star's luminosity, and generally you may not know its temperature, but you may know its luminosity, you can at least put it in a category, whether it's a hypergiant, a supergiant, a bright giant, a giant, a subgiant, a main sequence star, a subdwarf, or a white dwarf. Our latest additions to the luminosity classes are hypergiants zero and subdwarf six and white dwarf seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine categories of luminosity classes.